He's very light in my hands, which then I know he's correctly on his hind leg. I'm gonna prepare for the walk. Collect, 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 walk. Good. Shoulder four. Shoulder four, feeling the hind legs. Good, around, around. Change my bend, feel the hind leg, up I go. Lightness in the contact, anchored in my seat, feeling the hind legs. So is it still a little too heavy under the forehand at that last moment? It is, but the work helps the work, you know? I have to just keep, like if I were to chuck him in the face and you know, like don't run through my half off. Like he's, he's planking right now. He is totally balanced in his hind legs. He's light in my hand. I love the canter. It's very poised and collected and organized and calm. He's listening. He's doing a great job. If I start to pick on that last second of like, ugh, ugh, you know, why do you fall down? He's like, guys, I need to take a knee for a second. It's hard, you know? That's that moment that he's gonna struggle. And I have to allow that. I can't get after him for not being strong enough. It's not a mental thing. I just have to allow 872 more circles to help me do the work so that then he doesn't make that, okay? That doesn't need a correction. It needs diligent, good boy. It needs diligent practice.